I am watching Ray Goose and she is very upset about that alligator head floating there in the water beside her. Now that's just a float. But uh, she is trying to alert everybody about the danger that their pond is being infiltrated by alligators. And it's kind of cute. She and um, I bet she's wondering why he's not fighting back. Yeah, she must be wondering why he refuses to fight back and she's just showing off. She, <laughs> now you all know that we, um, we put the alligator head there as a, uh, to let us know where the air, not inlet, but the air outlet is underneath the, you know, from the windmill. The windmill is actually an aerator system that provides air to our pond. And we're supposed to pull up the, uh, the little outlet there and clean it out. I forgot what they call that component. There's a component though under, under the water. And uh, so that we can find it, we actually hung the alligator floaty onto it. So the alligator head just kind of sits there and floats around and we'll go out in the um, boat when we need to and pull it up, clean it out, replace it as need be. But Gray Goose has found that thing, the alligator there, and she finds it to be very bothering. And I think that she's showing off her skills. And now I just noticed that Gloria, our big white turkey, has come out to watch the spectacle. If you didn't notice, Gloria actually came out of the little duck house over there. So I'll have to send Jamie over and see if there might be, if she might be laying eggs in there or something, which would be really cool. Anyway, Gray Goose is just going at it. Gray Goose is just really letting that alligator know that you're not welcome here, that there are babies that drink from this pond. There's other fur babies that uh, wallow around as far as our pigs. There's feathered babies who swim. And, uh, oh, this is gonna be funny. As a, there's not, it's not a very windy day. And so the, <laughs> there's not a lot of air pushing through the uh, hose but as that windmill slowly churns every once in a while a bubble of water will come up and I think that that's just enough to make that goose believe that the alligator is alive that's funny that's like really funny and look she is <laughs> the only problem with what she's doing is I don't know if she's using enough force to actually move the uh, air outlet mechanism from below. Okay, watch. The windmill's churning. Watch the air popping. All right, there's air coming up all around the side of the alligator. And that has made Grey Goose back up a little bit. Look at all the air coming up there beside Grey Goose. And she's like, what in the world? <laughs> now she's biting at all the air bubbles. <laughs> Well, that's funny. I don't really know why I'm still sitting here watching all of this. I don't know what else. She, I mean, it's not like she's going to pick it up and carry it away. It's, it's tied to the bottom, and that air mechanism is pretty heavy. It's also weighted down because it has the air hose to it. The air wants, you know, obviously wants to float. But I'll tell you what she is doing. She's moving that thing all around. She's gonna reposition, I believe. If she continues this, she will definitely reposition the air outlet. <laughs> That's funny. Well, you've won this one. Everyone give one point to Gray Goose. And that would be zero points for the floating alligator head. She's not going to stop, though. She really is on a mission. I wish my camera would zoom in further. Anyway, I have to run. I'm going to the feed store. And uh, I just can't sit here and watch this forever. <laughs> but, but it is so cute. So cute.